Mmm, this is Instant Replay Live, and we're playing some Shadow of Mordor. Oh, I don't, I don't care for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to talk in this, in this husky, yeah. husky man voice. Husky man. It's, it's going to be hard like silk. What? What? I don't understand you at all. This is all your fault. A couple minutes ago, you were just spewing nonsense. I was now never, my brain's all jumbled up. Whenever someone does never, nonsense, I don't speech, know what you're talking about. I get lost in the nonsense. <laughs> it's like it's like it's like a telepathic wave. When someone says something that's all jumbly, I get all jumbled. Mm. Well, it's my one week. My one weakness. Jim now everybody knows. Now the internet knows my weakness. <clears throat> I can never be president. Thanks. <laughs> I think a lot of things were going to prevent that anyway. <laughs> what? I don't know. The world Come could change. Around the corner, mother I could. I mean, I could Thomas Jefferson this bitch. Ooh. Start a revolution. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And I'm what pretty... would your revolution be? I mean, I got some. I got some subjects I could talk about. I could be like, Yo, Congress, you're slow as fuck. Speed that shit up by erasing it. Let's put a dictatorship in office. I forgot that that guy was here. And I was like. <laughs> <Kick him. laughs> This guy should be in office. <laughs> I like I like his um, strategy. Knife him and kick him. Yes. We're That's, that's my oh, platform. Another plant. Okay. Well, this was a pretty easy part of a mission to start this off. Yeah, I, I mean, imagine the next part should be much tougher. Right. Right. No. Me. No, really? Uh, so it's funny. I don't think the missions are ever that challenging. Mm -hmm. um, I, and that's kind of okay with me um, because the missions just serve to you elevate you through what's going on in the world. Yeah. Um, there are some that definitely have their moments. But... We took his powder. The things that I think get really exciting are when you just when things get out of control. When you mm -hmm. get that big orc fight, and you're just like, okay, I'm doing it, yeah. and then things just ramp up. And then that's totally cool. You just want to be a part of it. Like, um, I feel like so the thing the I love the setup of this guy being a a ranger and a wraith like combined. Like, yeah, that's, that's a really sweet. neat character idea. Did you see what just happened? Uh, I stepped on a spider and I got hunting challenge. Kill three spiders, one of three. Mm. That's, that's... Hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, because the, the, a lot of the, the critters you're hunting early on are just, like, environment dudes, like bats and mice and stuff. Um, but I, like, stepped on it. I'm going to step on yeah, this one. Yeah, do it. Do it. You. <laughs> Whoa, I lost him. You know, those are the, the children. Do like, oh, dude, you got to catch up with Ergon. Oh, he's right there. He's standing and waiting. <laughs> Spider! He's waiting on you because he's so raw on, raw on time. Are they literally the children of um, M word I don't think that so. I remember? Uh, no, Nugal, Nu, Mergal, Mer, Moy, Boy, Mora, <laughs> Moya, Moya. Oh man, Farscape. Oh man, <laughs> I'm giving you a segue. Yeah, I see this. I, I'm taking it. Um, Farscape is like my favorite fiction. It's my yeah. favorite story. It's it's. I, it was right there at the like the peak of me like as a child like having child wonder. And uh, I grew up on it as also. Whoops. Um, <laughs> about, you know, people in space, and Jim Henson made it, so there's awesome Muppets and stuff. Um, and way later in life, when I was in college, I went to Dragon Con, the biggest uh, con in damage. Georgia. And uh, one of the panels was one of the actresses, uh, Zan. She was also Virginia Hay, she was also in Road Warrior, the, the second Mad Max, as like the main female warrior who's. Name I can't remember. But it was presumably an awesome like post-apocalypse name, mm -hmm. um, like all Mad Max yeah, names. Something like Handy Grease Metal or something. <laughs> Handy um, Grease Metal. Yeah. So and, and when she plays in this show, like this amazing like sci-fi sorceress. Um, I don't know. It was just such a cool. It was one of my favorite things about Farscape was that it was a mix of fantasy and sci-fi, kind of in the way Star Wars was. Um, but. Um, <laughs> I went to a panel and she was talking and you know it was some typical stuff you know talking about uh, the process of putting on makeup for a show and the the directors and working with the other cast members and someone came up someone t was talking to her about like you know on days where it's really difficult um, jeez I'm gonna die <laughs> uh, you gotta press A man I'm working on it let me get up here on uh, so she was asked or, or she was talking about how, uh, how someone was asking her about how she gets through difficult days at work and she was like you know, well, it's kind of like that's kind of what I what I do acting for is uh, when it's hard, I like it, and I was the only person in the audience to laugh. Uh -huh. I laughed really loud, 
and she pointed out to me and she has an Australian accent. She was like, you naughty boy. And she like <laughs> curled her finger and pulled me up or and beckoned me up, up on stage. She pulled, well, I mean, it might as well have been. You, a, a, you were beckoned pulled me with her mind. through yeah. a magical force. I was like, yeah. yes, I'm answering. This is the call that I've been waiting for all my life. <laughs> Um, so she, I, I moved up on stage and she like turned me to face the audience and she said, bend over. And then she, uh, well, she spanked me <laughs> in, spanked front of an audience, in front of an audience, yeah, up on a, up on a stage. Oh man. That was, huh? yeah, that was the thing that happened. I, I That's do have the another, day you became a man. Well, I, actually, this is probably the more appropriate story for the day I became a man. Whoa, whoa, I, whoa, whoa, hold on. I went to the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh, yeah. uh, a showing of it at a theater in um, Atlanta. It was a really old theater, like seven year old theater. But they have like a you know, a, it's the typical kind of Rocky Horror Picture Show. Mm-hmm. Um, people have water guns and all kinds of crazy shit is going on. You know, people are shouting, people are dressed up. The um, the people who work at the place are like Foster running around giving handouts and stuff. Um, Darkness descends. But the pre-show is crazy. And the, the day I went. They were having a humping competition. Uh, <laughs> so we, we, we had some people pull out of the audience. It was me and this like flamboyantly gay dude in a okay. leather skirt uh, with like like the fishnets. Is that who you were humping? Um, well, there was there were balloons between us. <laughs> oh. Um, but the first one we had to hump, hump we had a hump off between. Um, <laughs> Oh, I, actually, I should. Uh, but let's hold off on the hump. Hold off on the humping. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> we had to do like uh, a seductive dance before this to like test our metal, because they didn't. They, they pulled a couple people to the audience. The dance that I had to start dancing to was uh, "I'll Make a Man Out of You" from Mulan. Oh, nice. And uh, we had they had people cheer off to like see who had the most seductive dance, and so it was me and this other guy who won that after being pulled up, and. Um, there's so much walking in this uh, fucking hey, mission. Man, enjoy the scenes. I'm well. Enjoy the scenery. Look at that. Get, to, get some plan. Trying to get there fast. Get some plan. So this guy came up. Yeah, and so we had to do a hump off. But, uh, the, there was two girls who had to pop balloons in between. Uh, you know, you press the but- the balloon up against the buttocks and you had to try to pop it really fast. Mm-hmm. I popped it in one thrust, and wow. the audience went wild. Apparently, I'm the fastest balloon popper that they had. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and so I got a standing ovation for my for my humping skills, and I, I'm pretty proud of that. I mean, it's uh, not the plant I'm that was the for. day I became a man. <laughs> so it was a little bit late. Uh, it, was, it was a little bit late. Yeah, I was, my I was reaction, in college. Or, you know, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay, your manhood was a little late. I mean, that balloon though, it, it had it coming. God. Um. Uh, well. That's one hell of a story. <laughs> There's, I don't, I'm a little speechless. Uh, where the fuck what? is speechless? the next herb? Have you never been to a Rocky Horror show? No, I have. Uh, I've never been to a... Uh, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Back up. I have not. <laughs> uh, sorry. Let me blatantly lie <laughs> and say I have. No, I have not been to a Rocky Horror show. I'm getting out of the zone of the herbs. I feel like I'm missing uh, parts of the story. Oh, there was another thing we had to do. Maybe? Um, where we had to not pop a balloon. We had to keep a balloon level between <laughs> our junk, basically. Um, but, but we had, and we had to like dance but not pop it. <laughs> that was pretty challenging. But we won that, too. So um, I want a Batman comic. Damn it, stop sticking to the wall, character. I want a Batman comic here. and... Uh, you won a Batman comic for yeah. your balloon humping? <laughs> I want something else, too. Um... I, what I was going to say is I've not been to a, a Rocky Horror show. I've been to a burlesque um, performance, and that was pretty fun. Um, and it's run by a guy who runs a Rocky Horror thing. Uh, he goes to all the local cons around here. He's just like, man, he's a greaseball with charisma. Like, I, I don't know what else to say about him. Like, it's like his hair with snake oil? It, well, his hair is always slick, but I think it's part of his character that he's doing, you know? Like... Because he does, he plays Frank Furter in the live oh, okay, Rocky Horror. Yeah. He does. He runs Remember the whole time. deal. Don't and uh, but he's just like he's like he's a little chubby, and he's like kind of always moist. <laughs> I don't know. Chubby and moist, but, just the way I like it. But you know, it's because he's usually like doing some sort of performance. He actually, like I said, he was the the host of the burlesque, and he also um, he'll do like panels and stuff, and he does really good. 
the reason I have gotten to meet him is because he does panels on movies at the local cons. It'll be like 50 B movies you need to see, you know, and you go and watch all these, or he'll, he'll talk about all these B movies. Um, all right, kill with stealth. Let's get back to playing. Let's kill these guys on the next episode of Instant Replay Live. Okay. Anyhow, I've Failure. done. I've... <laughs> you were detected. <laughs> Hang my head in shame. I have not been to a Rocky Horror in spite of that, so oh. I, I have missed a little bit, I guess. I encourage any of you who have not... Who, if you've seen the movie, that's great. But if you haven't seen a proper showing at, like, a theater, they're 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 all over the place. You just kind of, like, look them up. Um, but people have so much fun with that movie, and that movie is really properly experienced at one of these kind of shows. Uh, yeah, so do that. Next time on Instant Replay Live. Tell us about your humming stories in the comments below. <laughs> really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.